My name is Frank Lopez. I am a barista and have been for the past seven years. This video is for people who have no idea what goes into making a latte and are just sort of curious. Today I'm at the Highland Cafe in Highland Park, California, and I'm going to show you how to make a latte. Uh, so first step is prepping. If you ever heard of uh, mise en place in like a professional kitchen, um, this really applies to anything. Get your work area ready, clean, and good to go. Um, once things get moving, they, they tend to go a little bit fast, so you want to have everything accessible and within arm's reach so that the next four steps can go as smoothly as possible. So as far as equipment goes, uh, aside from the obvious uh, Nespresso machine with port filter, uh, a grinder, um, you're going to need a steaming pitcher in which to steam your milk, uh, a tamper to tamp down the coffee, uh, a cup to put it in, and a few rags just to keep everything clean and nice. Step 2. Pull. So pulling a shot of espresso is something that's easy to learn and hard to master. You can break it down into a few simple steps though. Firstly, you remove the portafilter from the espresso machine and clean it out with a dry rag. You want the basket to be dry to avoid something called channeling. Then you place it under your grinder and you dose the uh, desired amount into the basket. And then you're going to groom it. And that's, as you can see here, you just kind of push the coffee around and fill in all the gaps and make sure that you have a nice, even surface when you tamp it down. And you do this to make sure that you have a, a consistent density throughout your puck. And the end goal here is, is a nice, even extraction. That's how you get the best espresso. Once you have it groomed, you can place it on the counter and tamp it down with about 30 pounds of pressure. And once it's tamped, you lock it into the machine, press the brew button, and you have espresso. Step three, steam. The basic steps are pour your milk, um, place the tip of your steam wand just under the surface of your milk at a slight angle facing the walls of your steaming pitcher, and then turn it on at full blast. Never do half or a quarter always turn your steam wand on at full blast that's the way the machines are designed to work once it's on you want to sort of angle it in such a way so that you get a, a whirlpool this will suck air into the milk and aerate it and pop any big bubbles that you might have in there and give you that nice silky microphone which you can use to make latte art step four polishing um, a lot of other braces might not include this as a step necessarily, but I think it's a step because I, I do it every time. Um, in order to pour good latte art, you really need to make sure that your milk and, and foam mixture is nicely you know, incorporated with one another, it's homogenous and it's ready to go. You need to make sure that your espresso is nice and evenly colored, um, so you have to give that a whirl, make sure any big bubbles that are in either are popped. Um, this is your polishing phase. This is kind of your, your prepping for your end phase, if you will. Step 5. Pour. Um, if I could break it down into its most simple steps, um, usually you start by pouring up high and just filling the cup about two-thirds to three-fourths of the way before you start drawing anything. Next uh, is your design phase. There's many different designs that people do on coffee, and they all require different pours and lengths of pours and wiggles and all that good stuff. And then you have your follow through. Usually, most designs require that you lift the pitcher again and pull through to sort of pull everything together, like this tulip here. And then that's it. And latte art is really kind of like plating um, for food. It's bells and whistles, it's, it's frilly, it's not very, very important. Some of the best lattes I've had have been ugly. In a <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm just rambling. You can just cut the rest of this off. Let's try that again. Um, and that creates a very rich, flavorful, kind of fatty um, drink. Nah. Fuck, man, this is hard. <laughs>